New this morning, buying a home is the biggest investment most of us will make. Sure, so you want your money to be, be protected, right? An 11 Alive viewer reached out to our Verify team wondering if the way you pay can open you up to fraud. Jerry Carnes of our Verify team has your answers. According to the FBI, wire fraud cost victims $6.9 billion in the U.S. last year. Concern over cybercrime prompted Rita Moore to ask if it's best to use a cashier's check instead of a wire transfer when she closes on her home in January. Let's verify. Our sources are Wells Fargo Bank and Andy Green, cybersecurity expert at Kennesaw State University. Wire transfers are the most common way to exchange money during the purchase of a home. On its website, Wells Fargo explains that it's fast, easy, and typically irreversible, and because of all that, frequently used in fraud schemes. It's easy, it's safe, but there are also some threats associated with it. Andy Green tells us you can neutralize the threat of a fraud scheme. He explained that the request for a wire transfer will typically come by email. Green says before you wire any money, make sure the email came from the right people. Call the closing attorney and have a conversation with their paralegal, somebody on their staff, and verify. Just ask the simple question, hey, I got this email with these uh, routing details. Is this the actual detail? Some cashier's checks offer security features to reduce the risk of fraud for a fee, but Green says there's no guarantee. He says it's important not to let anyone rush you. We get worked up and think, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done. And the criminals are, are relying on, on that pressure that you feel internally. So we can verify that no, a cashier's check isn't necessarily safer than wiring money to avoid fraud. Our experts tell us that whatever route you take, it's important to take extra steps to avoid being victimized.